now we are at the fourth topic our, at our object oriented programming and, and this is called the encapsulation and most people really forget it and I'm going to give you an example real life example so that you could remember it for the rest of your life so let's say we're selling something in this case we're selling burgers so one burger is five dollar two burgers are eight dollars and three burgers are eleven dollars that's it we put the price tag and let's say we put a money bowl so that uh, guys could take the burgers and put the money in the bowl so what do you think that happened in real life so the thing is going to happen is most people are not going to pay the exact money some may pay but this is not really a good practice so you cannot run your business like that you really don't have a guarantee that you are getting the exact money that you really ask for so that's really a problem so what you can do to solve this problem so you can do is box those or encapsulate those in terms of programming so that uh, no one can get the burgers easily so what does that mean by easily so that uh, if anyone wants to have a burger they really have to go through the layer layer of protection and by this protection I mean that they if they pass the exact money five dollar and they will get the one burger they will not get two burgers so if they pass at least eight dollars they will get two burgers that's the concept so from these concepts and encapsulations came in encapsulation also known as data hiding or data protection so let's see some code on encapsulation so so far you have seen the fields in my examples I haven't introduced the properties and this is the time that I am going to introduce the properties but let's really see that how other programming language encapsulate and then we're going to the c-sharp way and this way still works on c-sharp but c-sharp have has better way to deal with it so let's see that how other languages do the encapsulation so let's say you have a first name field in your class and to hide this field you really don't want to express it as a public so far you have no the uh, access modifiers because I have talked about it so if you don't know access modifiers go uh, back and watch the video again so it's private so no one outside the class can access this field so to access this field what we can do is write a method named get first name and then return the uh, first name field from the class since it's a public method anyone can access it and the data inside the class will be passed through and to change the field we have uh, let's say we have a protection like that if name is null we are not setting the name the name name has to be something string concrete we're not checking the empty here but let's just assume that null is doing the same thing checking empty and null but it's not the uh, it's not the real world thing just assume that it does so we're checking it and then putting the name so that it's really appropriate so think about that if you have uh, more validation like you want to change uh, check some uh, format or uh, change check some pattern and then keep the data it's the best practice so that when people change the data you can check that it is it in uh, right format or right pattern and then you save it to the database or save it to your field something like that so this is how the encapsulation done so these are known as getter and the set properties are known uh, set methods are known as setter 
So in C Sharp, what we do is just write the public string first name and then use the curly braces and say get and set. The get and set implicitly means that we have a method named get first name which is really returning which is the get here which is really returning the first name and the set here is really going to set the first name from the name string that passed in the parameter so simple getter setters are implemented just like one line in C sharp that's really very elegant I think so what you do when you have conditions like this what you do so if you really want to explicitly define the getter and setter what you can do is after the get you can use the curly brace and let's say you do some stuff up there and then return the first name but the recommendation is do not do any heavyweight calculation in the getter method because we really want our code to be efficient to do many of the things in the get method will uh, make your program slow so the best way to change your uh, first name or the field is in the set method so if you have any validation kind of thing do it in the setter method not in the getter so that it reduces the time so this is ex exactly the code that you have seen in the set earlier so uh, instead of name that in the set method if you write a method we could uh, name the parameter as anything we like but uh, when we use c sharp and use the uh, properties like this the default parameter is always the value so when you say value it means the parameter that passed in so we're checking the value if it is not null, then we are putting it to the field so you really have to have a field when you are explicitly defining it uh, other than that you really don't need another private field now let's see some coding we're in visual studio and i have codes for encapsulation let me include those so so far uh, you have seen the public fields so here we have private fields these are fields and we're doing this by the old programming way the getter and setters uh, as you can see that I have made those getter and setter we really have only two fields so that you could understand if you have more so you have to write more methods like this so to make it better in we are going to uh, move on to the c-sharp way this is the c-sharp way you can write it the get and set so if it is just get and set what you can do you can do just write like this that's it so as you can see that we step by step upgraded our code so first we are doing it the regular programming style second we are doing it in C sharp style and then we're moving on to the only implicit style that we're not defining the code and in the four what you can do let's say you have a public field let's say you have a public field public get but you really want the set to be private you can do that uh, to make the set to private just write the private in front of set that's it you compile compile just fine if you really want the get to be private don't want to, it to be go outside just write the private in front of it that's it bill works just fine that's it so if you have any more questions about encapsulation let me know email me i will reply so let me go over very quick to the slides nowadays modular approach is very 